Do you guys still fully support Theranos? I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> seed investors, seed investors in Theranos DFJ. That's true, we did write their first check, but we've never been to the company because um, she was off and did her own thing. Um, what was the question? Do you still fully support the company? <laughs> well, I'll um, tell, I'll tell yeah, you. I don't know. I mean, that implies nothing has changed in our relationship there. We were an investor. It was very unusual for us not to have any role uh, in the company. Uh, 500K check, relatively small for a fund. Um, and that and was we watched the only with, money you guys yeah, never, ever put in. Never, yep, never, never put in anymore. considered okay. and were never invited to invite more, okay. invest more. So I don't know. I, I sort of wonder why this is such a big deal for the Wall Street Journal other than you broke the story. And, well, because you know, this isn't like, well, sure. is this even an interesting thing for most people? But, okay, well, I'll say this. This isn't a consumer app that just got kind of carried away with growth hacking, right? This is blood testing and yeah. it's kind of healthcare. Yeah, I mean, so on one level, serious. you could say it's an inevitable future of how you would probably do phlebotomy and testing, to do small samples, to do DNA-based tests that can be used across a variety of things. Here's one particular attempt to do it that ran into all kinds of troubles, which you've covered ad nauseum. And, you know, there's... <laughs> A lot of companies stumbling all over the place in healthcare and outside of healthcare, where people die, where people get hurt, where a lot of capital is at stake, whatever it might be. I, just knocking someone down and, and relishing in it and taking great pride in it, I, I know there's a role for that, but you know, it's time to move on sometimes. Okay. <laughs> that said, you know, there's, you're saying moving on and accepting reality. Yeah. I mean, Tim, your partner, had said some stuff like he said in, in I guess it was June or May, you know, nothing's gone wrong. Uh, Theranos is being attacked by the powers that be in Big Pharma, et cetera. I mean, I think do you agree vampires. with that? I think you call them vampires. Did he call them vampires? You can sort of sense of the tone. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. did you agree with that, that nothing's gone wrong? I mean, obviously, no, you've learned I, a lot none of those were my then. statements. He, um, yeah, he's, he's off doing his own thing and making his own opinions. Okay. Because, yeah. um, I mean, you said, obviously, that you know, we definitely stand behind Theranos in the sense that we're an investor. Um, we don't have the answers to the questions that are swirling around right now. That was a year ago. But now we obviously do have a lot of answers to those questions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they avoided test results. The Fed's kind of trying to ban Elizabeth from the industry, shut down their lab. Um, I mean, I, is there a point at which, I guess the reason this is also important, where a venture capitalist has to distance themselves from a portfolio company if um, they've operated particularly irresponsibly? Hmm. In the, in the abstract, perhaps, um, when you're not a board member and don't have an active role, it's a bit different. So what would you do? Right? You, don't, you don't have the right to just say, give me my money back. Um, so you know, the best you can do is hope for their success and, and root for their success. But at the end of the day, there's not much you can do if they fail. Can you say, make public statements that say, you know, this is not the way we should be operating? Can you encourage other companies that super promote, you know, if, it's, well, if, if companies do, become too promotional, for instance, is mm -hmm. it your job as a VC to the extent you can to say, we shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be so promotional, you should be focusing on building the business. Uh, what role can you play as, sure. the, as the adults in the room? I'm not sure, well, we're in the room is the problem. Okay. So I, I believe in activist VC. Um, I, I think that we are in the business of trying to fund and support entrepreneurs that are trying to change the world. Uh, and so you don't know what form factor business model is going to take. The fact that they are trying to change the world means it's going to be a business model we, we haven't seen. It's going to be a method in biotech engineering that we have not seen. But for the world to progress, you need supporters around the table. However, I think that has, has early stage VCs, we only invest in areas we know, so the sectorial expertise mat matters. Understanding how to help to navigate the ecosystem matters. If it's highly regula regulated as well, understanding the regulation around it mat matters. So, you know, we are actually very, I believe in, just as there are activists on the public investing side, I think that for VCs, the model has changed. We need to stay involved. And yes, if they are, they are too public, they are too, you know, before it's ready, we should talk to our portfolio. We, sh we should, even if we're not on the board, we should go knock on the door and say, I, we need to talk. Um, that's the approach that I, like, we would take.